Hello mga kaklase, welcome back and on this video we will talk about the graphic design tool. So ano nga ba yung mga softwares na dapat gamitin or pag-aralan natin para matuto tayo ng graphic design? So there are three uh, basic tools na gusto ko i-share sa inyo. There are a lot of softwares there but when it comes to industry standard, ito sila yung mga top three ko. So you can still use kung ano man yung ginagamit nyo or natutunan nyo, you can still use that. This is just something that I want to personally share kasi ito yung mga softwares na ginagamit ko personally sa aking design business or freelance business. So there are three things. First is the Adobe products. Uh, mostly talaga ang ginagamit natin when it comes to graphic designing is Adobe Illustrator for Vector uh, illustrations, ano ba yung vector? Yun yung pag mo, hindi siya nagpipixelate. So, good for pro uh, posters, for um, billboards, yung mga malalaking format. Yung Adobe Photoshop is good for photo manipulation naman. So, ano ba yung photo manipulation? Yun yung mga nakikita nyo sa mga poster na parang pinagtatagpitagpin nila yung mga images so that they can create a new artwork or design. So, next is Canva. Canva is very... User-friendly, very easy to use. Uh, merong free version, meron ding uh, pro version, which I will explain a little bit later then. So Canva is good if you uh, want something na easy to use, uh, madaling i-learn. Um, Canva is for you. For Figma naman, and, that's, uh, and, and the reason why I uh, included Figma is that because it's free uh, for the most part of it, kung ikaw lang gagamit, libre yung uh, Figma, tsaka very powerful na siya. So, yung nagagawa kasi ni Figma is that pwede siyang makagawa ng vector art tsaka yung parang mix ng Adobe Illustrator at Canva. So, hindi lang Photoshop kasi medyo may limitation siya when it comes to uh, parang editing photos or manipulating photos. Kasi nga, it is, uh, Figma is usually used para sa mga UI design, web design. So, uh, ginagamit ko lang siya ngayon as uh, graphic design tool din kasi nga um, ang smooth niyang gamitin very uh, light yung yung software na to so next naman is pag-usapan natin kung ano nga ba yung difference nila when it comes to pricing so adobe illustrator or adobe creative suite or yes adobe products is actually a bit uh, parang medyo may, may kamahalan siya unless you are a student or a teacher you will have uh, the 997 per month Yung kung ikaw naman na individual and professional, then you will pay for 2,642 each month. no So kung team ka naman, um, naglalaro siya sa 1,898, pero depende din yan kasi magkakausapin kasi kayo ng, ano, ng parang customer service nila. So next naman ay pag-usapan natin yung plans ni Canva. So yung free version ni Canva is very, uh, very uh, powerful na. Merong maraming tools like may, may bago silang update, nag, uh, Canva Docs, um, video editing on Canva. So maraming magagawa sa Canva. Pero so yung, yung free version niya, may mga limitations kasi sa Canva, meron kasi tayong tinatawag na pro elements or nagagamit mo na mga elements kung mabayad ka. Pero what's good about Canva though is that it's cheaper than Adobe. Pero yung cons lang niya is wala kang pen tool or hindi ka makakagawa ng mga custom mo na shapes kasi nga uh, wala siyang pen tool. Um, you can use the free version or you can use the Canva Pro. Uh, yung Canva Pro, very affordable affordable lang din naman siya. So if you want uh, easier, uh, as easier software, easier to learn, then go for Canva. Now, pag-usapan naman natin si Figma. Figma, uh, for starter, free siya. So, yung pwede kang gumamit ng unlimited na Figma files or yung ano yung parang parang recent files mo. So, unlimited siya unless you will share it for a team. Medyo dyan na tayo magka-need uh, na gumamit ng Figma professional or yung $12 per editor per month. But, I I, I don't wanna highlight that much yung, yung, yung paid version niya kasi... Ang, ang, ang changes lang naman niya or ang difference lang naman niya is uh, yung, ano, yung sharing sa teams. If you are using it individually, then free for uh, Figma free or starter plan is a really great uh, software for you to start on. So um, now I want to highlight this because I want to focus on using Figma because 
it's free and you don't need to download any cracked softwares. So yan yung gusto kong i-emphasize dito because I don't want to uh, advocate uh, downloading cracked or uh, pirated softwares. That's why I am urging you to use Figma if you don't have any uh, budget yet no? na pwede mong gamitin pambili ng software. So ayun lang naman. And on the next one, we will talk about training our design eye. So, since alam na natin yung elements of design, alam na natin yung principles of design, or alam na natin kung ano yung ingredients at saka paano lutuin, then now, let's train our eye uh, to design, right? So, we know how to uh, distinguish good design and bad design. Ngayon naman, gagawin natin siya with our own hands. So, I hope uh, you will stay in this uh, lesson and see you on the next video. Music